In this video, we will be covering 10 considerations for animal model development for optical imaging purposes. Number one, animal handling and preparation. Ensure ethical and humane treatment of animals following institutional guidelines and regulations. Acclimate animals to the imaging environment to minimize stress during imaging sessions. Anesthetize animals appropriately to reduce motion artifacts during imaging. Number two, xenograft model selection. Choose an appropriate cell line that expresses the target protein or gene you want to study. Consider using luciferase expressing cell lines for bioluminescence imaging to monitor tumor growth and metastases. Number three, imaging modalities. Choose the appropriate imaging modality based on your research goals. Bioluminescence imaging for monitoring gene expression and tumor growth using luciferase expressing cells. Fluorescence imaging for visualizing specific fluorescent and markers and proteins. Near infrared imaging for deeper tissue penetration and reduced autofluorescence. Number four, probe and reporter selection. Choose appropriate fluorophores or probes that match the imaging modality and target of interest. Opt for probes with high specificity and minimal background signal. Test and validate probes in vitro before using them in vivo. Number five, imaging systems considerations. Use a dedicated animal imaging system with appropriate filters and detectors for the chosen imaging modality. Check the system regularly and perform quality control checks to ensure accurate results. Here at Spectral Instruments Imaging, we offer three main instruments, the Kino, AMI, and the Lago. Number six, image acquisition. Optimize imaging protocols for each time point depending on signal strength. No need to have the same camera parameters for the whole experiment, especially in absolutely calibrated instruments. If you're using a spectral instruments imaging instrument, you can simply use easy mode as well. Number seven, image analysis. Utilize appropriate software for image processing and analysis. Segment and quantify regions of interest to measure fluorescence or bioluminescence intensity and other relevant parameters. You can use spectral instruments imaging or a software. To do that, you can download it from our website at spectral in vivo forward slash software. Number eight, longitudinal studies. Consider conducting longitudinal studies to monitor changes in tumor growth, metastases, and treatment response over time. Number nine, control groups and validation. Include appropriate control groups to validate imaging results. Validate finding using histopathology or other gold standard techniques. Number 10, ethical considerations. Follow ethical guidelines for animal experimentation and obtain necessary approvals from institutional animal care and use committees. If you have any questions, please go to our website at spectralinvivo.com or you can email us at scientist at specimg.com for any questions or concerns, or if you want to simply set up an animal model, we can help you do that. Thank you.